In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple concept you can use to beat man-to-man -man coverage. We're we'll talking about the U-Trips formation or the gun Y off trips pats formation. You can find this in the New England playbook. You can also find this in the Raiders playbook. Those playbooks are very similar to one another. And um, if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. Um, that ebook is going to be available to all of our Patreon members. Patreon members also get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive update or ebooks, as well as any updates to those ebooks while your membership is active. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. The link to sign up for that is down in the description below if you want to check it out. But again, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit more about man coverage and just show um, really this route combo is actually good against man and zone, uh, but I do think it's actually really, really good against, uh, against man to man. And you can actually really do this out of a lot of different route combina or a lot of different plays, uh, in this formation. But I personally really like to do this out of either the play scat or, um, or the play like Y option will. Okay, so you can either do it out of scat or Y option wheel. Tight and whip, you could also do it out of something like that if you wanted to. Um, but we're going to show this out of scat. Now, you do need an outside apprentice for this. If you don't have an outside apprentice, I'll show you what you can do. Uh, but we'll show this out of um, scat and Y option wheel. I'll go ahead and put Y option wheel into the audibles, and we'll first show it out of scat. All right, so real simple setup here uh, for this play. What we're going to do is we're going to put the outside receiver on a C route. We're then going to put the tight end on an out route. We're going to motion over this, um, this post route, as you can see. And then what I like to do is give myself just a little bit better pass protection. So we're going to block our running back. And then from there, you can kind of do whatever you want to do with Chris Godwin. You could put him on a slant. Um, if you think it's man-to-man, -man, not a bad read. You could put him on a flat to create a pick for this route right here. You could put him on a streak. Um, you could also, if you have slot apprentice, you could put him on a crossing route. So it might look something like this, okay? Um, you can also feel free to put him on an in route or something underneath as well, okay? So a lot of different things that you could do with that receiver, but this is kind of my favorite way to run this play. And what you're going to see here, what we're really looking for first is our tight end out route. That is the main route on this play. It's the route that is going to force your opponent to have to play, um, you know, kind of a specific style of defense that most people don't really like to play uh, this year, where they're going to have to respect the fact that your tight end quick to the flat is actually really effective in this formation. The next read is going to be your C route. Now with C routes, what you want to do, at least this is what I'm finding out, is you want to highball them. Uh, I find that I've actually had a lot more success with being able to use or catch and have just a little more flexibility when I highball my C routes, right? So you'll just see here, when he cuts to the outside, you're just going to highball it. And you see how I can just, even if I'm in trouble, I can at least have an attempt, obviously, at making the play. Now, Mike Evans doesn't have the route running to run C routes very well, um, and that's why you're seeing him have a little bit more trouble. But like Larry Fitzgerald is a great example of a receiver that has really good abilities and really good route running to be able to run something like this. Uh, but you see here, the beauty of the high pass is the way ags work this year obviously are very effective but another reason why i like to highball it is because i can throw it without overthrowing it i like to use this more so than freeform because um you know i still overthrow a lot when i throw freeform and so this just gives me something that's a little bit more reliable and i can get the ball out of my hands a little quicker a lot of times you'll get that animation right there where he'll catch it um i rarely throw in completions on this even if he does get hit eat because of the high ball. So just something to kind of note. So if those two things are kind of breaking down over on that sideline, they're probably doing some variation of the following adjustments where they're shading outside. Maybe they have zones um, or something like that. And that's where this post, you want to throw it right about there, um, is really, really, really effective. These post routes this year, I think, are one of the main ways that you want to be trying to beat man to man. Uh, just from my experience so far this year, this post route is really, really important. And, you know, again, we can actually use this also as a zone beater because what will happen a lot of times is 
the streak will pull out these zones in the middle of the field and it should leave that right there now they had a yellow right there but a lot of times they won't if they're playing you know any kind of zone like let's say you're getting cover four cover four is a little bit more common this year specifically uh in talking about zones and so you have this like you can use this streak as kind of a potential clear out route and then it allows you to throw it kind of right in behind the yellows and right in front of the deep blues it's why this is one of the most effective routes this year okay um now this is also really really effective if for whatever reason or if your opponent is blitzing you so if your opponent is blitzing you um it tends to look something uh something like uh the following we're gonna man up this guy on him and you know this is going to be kind of what we're going to do so we're going to send some heavy pressure now we're blocking the running back so we should have at least a second to be able to get the ball out quick and the main read we want to see is if this man coverage we want to hit that tight end out route really quick that's one of the reasons why u trips is so good is because the tight end really does a great job this year at beating man and it's going to allow us to really be in a good position now, another way that we can kind of run the same basic concept is through, we can actually leave this corner route to Jones instead of using a C route. And so we could use a motioned over C route, something that looks like this, and we can kind of run the concept this way. This is a way that we can kind of freestyle, and a lot of times these C routes are better, uh, at least kind of from what we're seeing in the competitive community on the left side of the field. So as you see right there, we're able to use that against against zone or against man. And then another thing that I want to just quickly point out uh, that this gives us against zone is it gives us a high low read to the right. And then it also, if they are in zone, um, short side floods are actually really good this year. So what you'll see here is I can throw this with an outside pass lead right on that. And you see how that is able to cook zone coverage to the sideline. The C route is seriously like it's probably I don't know if it's the number one route this year, but it's definitely up there, okay? So you could do something like that. If you wanted to, you could do something like this. Um, you know, maybe something like this if you wanted to leave Jones on his route. And you could do something. This is actually a really, really effective concept. You'll see how, again, that tight and out route is super critical to be able to have, okay? But now I want to just spend the last few minutes talking with you about why option wheel and how to do this if you don't have Hot Rep Master. So... It's really simple. Instead of a C route, we're going to use a fade. We're still going to use this out route. And then what I like to do with Jones is we're actually going to put him on kind of a motion snap slant. So it's going to be delayed. It's going to come underneath. You could put him on an in route if you want to. But I do think the slant's a little better against the man coverage. And you see how they're just going to run at different levels, right? So you're, it's essentially just a simple levels concept. Again, I want to stress what makes this play so powerful is indeed this out route this out route is really the the real powerful piece of this play and then having that coming over the top of it so that if they jump the out route with their user then you have the post coming in behind it u trips is a really really good formation for the current meta that you're seeing baseline dollar defenses cover zero blitzes because the tight end in the back really can help you uh, be able to get the ball out quick against the blitz if you want to learn my entire u trips offensive ebook make sure you join our patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up and like i said it'll get you access to all of the ebooks including the u trips as well as all the updates to those ebooks uh, while your membership is active. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, so if you want to sign up, head on down to the description below and click the link to join our Patreon.